right guys, welcome to today's video. If you don't know me, I am Craig Smith. I'm a filmmaker, artist, and entrepreneur, if you want to call it that. Now, first and foremost, I do need to apologize for the lack of uploads in the last two weeks. I had a stag do two weekends ago, and then last week I was still kind of jaded from that and didn't get a chance to shoot anything. So here we are now. Today's video is going to be on the removal of unwanted objects from your footage. Now, sometimes we all end up with very short, tight deadlines to be able to get a shot done and we can't reshoot it. So we have to make do with what footage we got or cut it entirely. Now, After Effects has a brilliant function in it that can remove objects to a certain extent, and we're gonna go into that today. All right, so the effect that we are trying to get within After Effects to remove unwanted objects is similar to this one here, if I can play it. Now, it's a quick and easy effect. First and foremost, you're going to want to click and drag your source footage to the new comp window. Because this is a walking shot, you will want to add a little bit of warp stabilizer just to remove some of that jitter that comes with walking. Change the subspace to position scale rotation and let that run. All right, so now that's stabilized, you'll want to select your work area that you want to render and play about with. For this, we're gonna do three seconds worth. Because it has warp stabilizer on it, you will want to pre-compose. Give it a name, tutorial, pre-comp. Um, and then, once you have this done, you can start to apply your mask around the object you want to remove. You do this by going to the pen tool in your toolbar or hitting G on your keyboard. Click and drag will create smooth splines around the object you wish to remove. Hit M on your keyboard to bring up the mask properties and then change the mode to subtract. Now onto the part that will remove your foot, the object from your footage. You will want to go to your sideband panel and click the content aware fill if you do not have this, you can find it up in Window and then Content Aware Fill. Click that and it will populate into this site. If we play through the footage because it's moving, the object we want to remove will move out of that zone. So if we go to the wee stopwatch next to Mask Path, you hit that, it will populate a keyframe, move through the footage and just adjust the keyframe the frame of the mask as needed to cover up the object. Play through it just to double check that it covers for the entirety of the clip. Double tap M, you can bring up mask feather, add a small amount of mask feather, and this is where we go into the content we are fill. You can add a little bit of expansion to this mask to negate the fill level which will blend it into your footage a little bit more. The higher the number the longer the render process is going to take. For the fill method because it is an object that is moving within our frame you select object. If it was a flat surface surface that doesn't really move too much in your frame and then for the range, you can select the entire duration of the clip or the work area. For us, it's work area because we've pre-selected a rush from that. You then want to click generate fill layer. As you will see, this populates a PNG sequence for the frame range you have from zero to 89 in this case. And the computer will now run through analyzing the frames that you want applied to. Alright so now that that is rendered you will see the first frame has basically painted out that figure. So if we zoom out to 
fit. And if we play through. You will see slight edge distortion, but in the colour correction you can kind of get around that. You can add colour correction to the PNG sequence to better meld it into your frame.